Hello and welcome to Mojarto on Art. I'm Anu Subramanian. This week, the works that we visit are an explosion of color, from Chakraview to the paintings of Sahaya Sharma. Then, we let you know about some upcoming events happening in the art world this week, and we get to know some artists on Mojarto.com. All this and more on Mojarto on Art. story of the evening, let's visit Chakraview, which was India's submission to the London Design Biennial. It's a colorful, immersive installation that allows for both reflection and aspiration. Utopia is the process of making a better world, the name for one path history can take, a dynamic, tumultuous, agonizing process with no end. Struggle forever. The science fiction novelist Kim Stanley Robinson said that. And at Chakraview, an installation currently on view at Delhi's Beacon Air House, India's post-independence pursuit of utopia was on view in vibrant technicolor. How do we show a socio-economic progress of India using a certain metaphor? And the metaphor was the seven chakras. Come on with it. Because the seven chakras can only ascend and their energy points that ascend from one point to another point of ascension and therefore finally enlightenment. Each of the chakras has the original format and form and color that is in our ancient texts. Each color represents a certain element with a certain kind of a connotation. <laughs> Raj Sripathi, the founder of India Design Forum, commissioned this installation to first be put on view at London Design Biennale. Scenographer and artist Sumanth Jayakrishnan designed Chakraview. Utopia is something that we all aspire to, you know, as a social idea. We never actually get there. So it's always that thing that you look to and you know it, it's like if you look at it it's, it's already changed so i was trying to find metaphorically something parallel to that in the thinking or ideas i was familiar with and the first thing that came to my mind were the chakras we have the six chakras in the main hall and the seventh chakra is an audio visual in the garbhraha which is a small little room anti-room that leads on from the main installation where you are sitting in this very calm and quiet illuminated white space call it enlightenment which is what we thought we were trying to show when you look at india it's so many different ideas in that sense design is what you get on the street so the context was street metaphor chakra metaphor and then how does it all come together in the head so what you see here is really the street. As a result, Chakraview blends the hundreds of languages and perspectives shared across India through the interactive installation. Hand-painted lettering reflects the many fonts and languages spoken. And we thought it was a brilliant thing to do because it looks at India both in its traditional form and in its contemporary form. It's a very ingenuous idea to bring in this, like stainless steel is a very modern material if you say, and, and the chakras which is our own, which is the most critical part of the human body or the whole universe. To, to incorporate these two things and give it in the context of utopia, what better can it be? The whole curatorial fundamental basis for me was based upon the India design report that was asked for by Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru and prepared by Charles and Ray Eames, the great architects and designers uh, from the US, 
who had visited India several times and were fascinated with Indian craft. And that report says the importance of the ordinary earthenware lota, symbolic of where India's design trajectory should head. It stood for a metaphor for India's craft skills and this meant that design in India should always remain democratic. Design in India should always remain sustainable. Design in India should always have a social implication. The team behind Chakraview sees the coupling of design and social progress as a key ingredient in India's vision for a design utopia. By harnessing the country's layered heritages, rural power, craft skills, and aesthetic value, Chakraview envisions a paradise that is distinctly Indian and ever-changing. Chakraview is on view until April 16th at Delhi's Deacon Air House. Want to know what else you can do this week in the art world? Then keep watching, because here are some upcoming events. Delhi, you have until April 16th to head to Beacon Air House and see Serendipity Arts Festival Delhi. The Delhi edition of this interdisciplinary arts festival will include a crafts exhibition, a photography exhibition, a design installation, dance performances, a storytelling session, and a theater performance. Chennai, Phoenix Market City wants you to know the art installations and works on view a little bit better, so it's hosting its monthly art tour on April 15th at 10.30 a.m. Mumbai, on April 22nd at 10 a.m., you can be a part of an animation workshop by Alia Patan, an internationally recognized artist who will guide students through a workshop on how to begin and execute animation art. Bengaluru, Stage presents Jugalbandi April 22nd at Atta Galata. It will be a Jugalbandi performance of Mridangam and Tabla, performed by two seasoned classical artists. After the break, artist Sahaya Sharma tells us about jellyfish that never die. Don't go anywhere. Mojarto on Art will be right back.